What's going on in the kitchen? There's been some fails. What's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole. If you're new here, my channel is all about home and DIYs. Um, all things lifestyle, me transforming my first house, making it feel like home, one DIY project at a time. So today I'm in my kitchen that I share with you guys a lot. Most of my DIY projects are in here. And there's a couple things that I want to share about what's going on in the kitchen. Um, a lot of you make comments that it's a beautiful kitchen, it's this and that. Yes, but there's been some fails and some struggles that I'm going through right now. And I want to show you guys in this video, so stay tuned to see what I'm talking about. You'll probably have an idea from the title, but let's get into the video. Okay, so y'all remember my last video where I bought the ice ball maker, um, and I showed y'all. I told y'all I would show y'all if if how it came out. I never got to the. I'll link. I'll link that video above, but I never got to see how it turned out because I realized. After 24 hours of waiting for the balls to freeze, I realized my freezer wasn't freezing. I hadn't really noticed it at first. I felt like it was like phasing out from super, like the refrigerator and the freezer from, you know, like normal to slowly fading out. So I didn't quite notice it. Um, so now this is my refrigerator. I never really used the ice maker since I've um, been here. This refrigerator was here from the previous owner. Um, but it's not freezing it's not getting cold so this is how you know it's an older refrigerator it's not like stainless steel or anything um so it's not working and so that's one of the struggles i'm having right now i feel like i like to cook i like to be in my kitchen y'all know i like to be in my kitchen from me putting all this work into it and it's not working so it's my fault but like i feel like the food has gone bad thankfully i didn't have a whole lot of stuff in the refrigerator in the freezer um, but my home warranty company, um, I have a home warranty company, I should say, but they're not really helpful. I'll get into that. But I tried to do this myself. I looked up some YouTube videos to try to see what's going on with the refrigerator so I can see if I can fix it. So when I slid the refrigerator out, here's what happened. I did my peel and stick floors video. Y'all have seen it most likely if you're subscribed to my channel. I'll link it above if you're new to watching my video. But once I slid the refrigerator out, y'all, my nice little peel and stick tiles slid right with it, okay? So it's such a disaster. <laughs> that black stuff on the floor is from me scooting out the refrigerator. The tile slid right on with it. And I think part of it is me, um, I did not move the refrigerator and put tiles behind it. I kind of just stopped it where the refrigerator was. So I feel like if it was all locked in place with like a fully tiled um, floor, maybe it wouldn't have done that. But look, like, it's you can peel it up like you can pull it up with your hand now and it kind of was like a domino effect where it affected the um tiles beyond that and the stick is pretty much gone it's a disaster so now i have to rethink the floors in the kitchen i'm probably going to pull that up soon like all the floors up soon and just kind of go back to the drawing board so stay tuned for that journey that'll be something in itself but look at this, y'all. I really wanted to show y'all this updated review along with the refrigerator update and situation. I wanted to show y'all an update review of these pill and stick floors. Everybody praises about them. Um, but here it is. I mean, I have to double check, but I feel like it's been, what, like eight months or so since I did the floors and or less, six to eight months. And here's where we are. So it's like, you eventually need to like do move your appliances or what have have you i feel like with flooring you shouldn't have to worry about oh can't move my appliances because the the tiles are going to come up so i wanted to share that update with y'all because i know a lot of us want to use this budget friendly solution um but it's definitely just keep in mind that it's not long term i, I knew it wasn't long term i knew this was something temporary that i wanted to do just to get the look see how I like these white marble floors in the kitchen before I commit to an expensive long-term project. Um, so it's a disaster. I tried to move the refrigerator out of the way so I can get to the back and that's what happened. So I wanted to share that part of this refrigerator experience. This is something that all you know, first time home buyers or home buyers in general, general can go through because appliances don't last forever. I don't care how long or how new, how new your, um, houses it's not gonna last forever there's gonna be some point where you know whatever so watched a couple YouTube videos 
and they were saying to get a flat hair screwdriver a flathead screwdriver and take the screws off the back so there's supposed to be some things that you can look for in the back bottom of your refrigerator to test out see if it's working or not so you can see you know if it's the fan if it's the compressor mind y'all this is all terminology that I just learned from YouTube so if it's the fan the compressor or this little piece that goes into the compressor you can listen for like sounds to see if obviously you can see if the fan is moving um, you can hear if the compressor is going off and then you can listen to see you know is it um, going in and out XYZ so it was a struggle for me trying to get these screws off for one most of them were fine but there was one that was like stripped this one here at the bottom that was stripped and it was just like a stress factor so I couldn't get the whole thing off so that was the first part of this I wanted to just rip this thing off but I'm like I can't do that because you know I, I, I don't know what the benefit of having this on is I'm sure it's a reason so yeah so I heard that I heard the fan spinning that was fine um, the comp the compressor seemed to be fine but I think it kept going in and out because it kept I kept hearing it then it'll stop then I kept hearing it and it would stop um, so I thought it was um, based on my research this little piece that I think I'll show you guys in a second I think you'll be able to see the piece that attaches to the compressor I think that needs to be replaced um, but it's so stressful I'm just like you know the piece is like $70 um, I just wasn't I'm, I'm, I wasn't down for this job I love my little DIYs I think you guys can see it in there it's like that little black piece with the white sticker on it black label I mean white label on it that piece I think needs to be replaced but I, I realized once I pulled this off I wasn't down for this DIY y'all it's a little bit out of my realm and I only you know all of this work would have went into it only to hope that it worked so it was given nauseous let's let's figure out a plan B so I ended up um, my home warranty company I'm going to get into a review of that but they're they're being they weren't really being helpful I'll do that in a separate video but I decided to let me go shopping for a new refrigerator so this is one of the obviously higher end ones it's I've been wanting this for a while but I wasn't ready until I fully remodeled my kitchen it's interactive you can play music you can play you can connect it to your Apple I'm not Apple but Samsung like for videos you can look at recipes on it, it has an ice dispenser so Samsung has a lot of great refrigerators out there um, and so I was leaning towards a Samsung I'll show you guys I think I'll show you guys in this clip a couple other Samsung refrigerators that's really what I saw mostly most of in um, Home Depot so this one has like just showing you guys a couple little details um there's a i've really enjoyed refrigerator shopping i'll say that i think my daughter did too she came with me and it was just great to see like some new you know techie refrigerators out there um but mind y'all like this was a very unexpected expense because i was i was really depending on my home warranty company to come out have someone come out service the refrigerator and just be at that i didn't want to get a new whole new refrigerator because I wanted to get all new appliances at once so I can have take the time to like really think about what I want the look but in this case I was just like um I know I want something either black but I like the stainless steel look so maybe I could do the stainless steel and black because I do have like elements of stainless steel slash nickel and black in the kitchen already and regardless of what I can stick to the theme um, and for cost to be cost efficient I was like you know let me look at stoves and dishwashers and all that stuff now and see what the brand has and I'll just get the refrigerator for now because I need it and then I'll buy matching brand um, additional appliances later um, so this was nice too like there's some really great cute um, sleek stuff out there um, so I just wanted to show y'all a couple things that are out there, what the features look like. I knew for sure I definitely needed the ice maker. Um, it's just something that I want. You know, I can do the ice tray thing, but I don't want to have to. Um, so, and I knew I kind of wanted to stick between fifteen hundred. I wanted to stay under three thousand dollars. That was for sure. Um, one quick tip, though, before you actually purchase a new refrigerator, this is so important because the height and the widths and all that of the refrigerators can vary and I have like a because I'm not remodeling right now I have like a 
sets designated space for the refrigerator in the kitchen and I had to make sure that whatever I purchase it can fit so there's cabinets above the refrigerator right now and I had to make sure that the height including the hinges of the refrigerator that I chose um, is not taller than that or otherwise I'd have a problem I have to remove cabinets I'm not down for that job right now I really just want something nice something that works and something to keep my food from spoiling so I just wanted to make that note because initially I wasn't I wasn't thinking about measuring. I was just like, I need a refrigerator. But then when I was doing some research on good old YouTube, it was like, you know, make sure you measure. So I had to keep that in the front of my mind. A lot of these refrigerators right here, these Samsung ones and um, the, the real techy ones with like the um, drawers on the bottom and then the French doors on the top, a lot of those are too tall for the space that I have. So. Although I like these, the ones that I'm showing you guys in the clips, um, they're unfortunately too tall for my space. So I kind of had to downgrade my thinking, if you will, because I can't have a 70 inch high um, refrigerator. It just won't fit. And I, I, like I said, I can't do the cabinet removal. So I went, I went in, I looked, I was going to actually buy through a sales rep at Home Depot in the store, but she was so busy like talking to someone else. Um, I was just like, you know what, I'll just look around, see what I like and don't like, and then I'll go online and order if if my home warranty company doesn't come through, y'all. And let's just say I had to buy my own refrigerator. I went on Home Depot. No, I went to Lowe's. Mm, Lowe's or Home Depot. I'll show you guys in the refrigerator review because I'll do that too. So I'll do a home warranty review, which is choice home warranty, so stay tuned for that. Um, comment below if you've had any experiences with that. Um, and then I'll do the refrigerator review once my new refrigerator arrives next week. Um, I like these so much, like, but like I said, um, a lot of these were too tall for my space. So, like the multiple bins, you can move the section, you know, move the little divider to adjust the, the sections, things like that. But just wanted to give you guys a little bit of shop with me as I go on this refrigerator journey. Um, there's some great things out here. And if you're like into home decor and stuff like that, like I am, you will really enjoy just looking at this, seeing some of the pricing that's out there. And if you need a new refrigerator right now, or if you know you'll need a new refrigerator soon, this video can kind of help you like think about that. Think about some of the things that you know you need in a refrigerator. Um, you know your wants and things and price range and all that good stuff so okay guys so i hope you stay tuned to the end of the video um i hope that you you know if you've looked at my previous videos and saw like the peel and stick floor video um, I just hope this helps you to either decide, you know, if you want to do the pill and stick floor thing or just kind of how to navigate if you ever have to like move your refrigerator and you have these tiles in place. Um, and yeah, if you also feel like you can fix your, I feel like I can DIY anything. That's a blessing and a curse because in this situation, it was just too much for me. I wasn't really trying to, I realized I wasn't really trying to do all that the refrigerator like i thought the electricity work was a big thing like when i changed my light fixture make sure you guys check out that video i thought that was scary and i, I was scared to attempt it but i successfully did it make sure you check out that video if you haven't already um but the refrigerator it, it just i started it and I, I know i needed it um but it just was a little too scary to like mess with a big machine like that and try to repair it even though there's some great YouTube sources out there to help you, I just feel like, I was like, yeah. Once I took the back off and started looking for the pieces they told me to look for, it was given, let's just let the home warranty company handle that. And, you know, let me just say, that's that's not, you know, everything's not for everybody. So, that's, I'm not going to do it. So, um... Stay tuned for my next video because I want to share with you guys an honest review on my home warranty company. Um, I use Choice Home Warranty right now. The house came with uh, Cinch Home Warranty, um, which once that expired, I bought my own policy, which was much cheaper, and it w I went to Home Choice um, or Choice Home. Sorry. So 
So I want to share with you guys a review on that. Please stay tuned for that video, especially if you are a homeowner, uh, you're in the process of buying a house and you want to know how that home warranty stuff works and pros and cons of warranty companies in general as well as choice home warranty in particular. So stay tuned to that. I'll post that in a couple days. So important. I, I feel like there's more, there needs to be more YouTube content on home warranty companies so we can get y'all feedback, y'all experiences because when something, if we're paying monthly or if we're paying once a year a, a large amount, we should get what we want. We should be taken care of when something goes wrong with our house and just stay tuned. All I'm going to say is just stay tuned for that review because, <laughs> and stay tuned to the refrigerator update to see how it's going, what next, step, next steps I'm taking, etc. But I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I will see you in my next video.